Hundreds of people were dining on some delectable curry dishes tonight, all in the interest of supporting Lincoln's Asian Center. Because of overflow crowds last year, the event was moved to a larger location this year, and they still sold out. 10-11's Lance Schwartz was at the Lincoln Firefighters Reception Hall to do some taste testing tonight. The savory smell of curry was in the air tonight at the fourth annual Curry Clash. So the Curry Clash is our signature event. Sheila Dorsey Vinton is the executive director of there the Asian are. Community and Cultural Center. And she says naming this event the Curry Clash four years ago was very appropriate. Because we serve refugees and immigrants from all over the world, we thought curry would be the perfect thing because you can find curry all over the world. 15 incredible restaurants were represented here at the Curry Clash tonight, and I thought it was only right that I tried each and every one of them. Cheers to the Curry Clash. Curry is pretty much big in the African Caribbean culture. Charles Brewer is the owner of Stir 22 Lounge, and when he heard that he could donate some of his curry-inspired dishes to the Curry Clash, he was all in. Absolutely. It's definitely nice to be a part of something, especially giving back to the community and whatnot. So this is something that I, like we need to do pretty much every week if we could. Absolutely. The goal tonight was to raise $30,000 <laughs> for the Asian much. Center. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. This is my favorite event of the year. Um, it's the most fun and delicious fundraiser um, in Lincoln. Dai Shizuka is the president of the Asian there Center Board, and he says for one night a year, this is the best restaurant in Lincoln. And, and a, an opportunity to support a really great organization. In Lincoln, I'm Lance Schwartz, 1011 Now. Tickets went fast for this year's event, so be sure and get your tickets early for next year for the fifth annual Curry Clash in 2019.